Hey, what's up, guys? This is Durian Productions. Today, we are going to open books a uh, latest Huawei MateBook 14 2020 version with touch screen. Inside the box, straight out of the box, you have the grey color MacBook 14, a 65 watt Type C charger with a Type C cable. Now all Huawei laptops is using such a charging combination. Let's remove the plastic things around the laptop. The cases looks exactly the same as the 2019 version. In the A side, there is a Huawei shiny logo. It feels premium on hand. On one hand, there is a full size HDMI port, one 3.5mm headphone jack, and one charging port, which is also Type C. On the other side, very good, there are still two USB Type A ports, convenient for those who are still using thumb drives or portable 2.4G mounts. At the back, there is some logos on different brands. There are two plastic stands. The back one is a bit more higher to allow more cool wind. Although the light, although the weight is only 1.4 kilograms approximately, but it feels pretty substantial on hand. The craftsmanship is very good. It feels very solid. We are pretty confirmative that the laptop can sustain for quite a long time. You should not be supposed to open the laptop using a single hand. The screen is amazing. It's full laminated and the bezels are very narrow, less than one millimeter, one centimeter. The downside is that the camera is from the keyboard. The keyboard feels really nice, similar to the touchpad, although a bit plasticky. It is compatible with Huawei Share devices. The power button can also be used as a fingerprint sensor. When you first power it on, the keyboard backlight will also be turned on. The screen has very high contrast. The responsive on this laptop is really good. It is unexpectedly fast, very close to a desktop machine. If you compare this machine to many other 10th generation Intel machines, then I would like to say this is definitely faster. The hardware and software optimization is the best on this laptop. The touch screen is also pretty responsive, although slight delay will be expected. The downside is that you do not have a pressure pen so that you cannot draw anything on the screen. Let's just YouTube some videos to check out the screen quality as well as the sound quality.
the screen feels gorgeous from video display it has very deep black vivid colors and decent contrast it is macbook level screen as for the sound quality or the speaker quality it is not as amazing as the screen quality but it's still very decent for its price range and it's definitely premium not from those cheap machines It houses an Intel 10th generation Core i5 with 4 cores, 8 threads. Although many other models utilize a similar processor, but this one is definitely more responsive. It houses a 56 watt hour battery with a discharge rate around 6000 milliwatts. Thereafter, it can achieve approximately 9 hours battery life maximum without too much loud. The RAM is dual channel LPDDR3. Onboard memory, you cannot replace it or remove it from the motherboard. The LPDDR3 memory generally saves a bit more energy which is good for this lightweight laptop. It has two GPUs, one Intel and one discrete NVIDIA GPU. The display is from Inalux. It is a Chinese display maker, but the quality is really gorgeous. The solid state drive is from Toshiba, which is an indicator for high quality high speed drives. The Wi Fi is from Intel AC9560. After some benchmarking, we can see that the solid state drive is a super fast one, close to Samsung drives. Cinebench R15 also show very promising results. It's a very decent score for both CPU and GPU. Without any loud, the temperature of CPU is around 40 Celsius degree. A frequency ranging from 0 point something to 1 point something gigahertz. Let's now start with CPU stress test. The temperature rises quickly to approximately 90 Celsius degree with a frequency around 3.5 gigahertz. The CPU power is around 20 watts and then drop to 2.8 gigahertz Let us keep it running for approximately 10 minutes. Then we see that the CPU frequency dropped to 2.1 GHz with a frequency around 12 watts. The temperature is pretty low, just 60 Celsius degrees plus. The performance is much lower much better than 2019 version which has a power limit around 10 watts. Now let us switch to CPU and GPU dual stress test. MX250 is now locked to its highest clock 1.75 GHz. CPU frequency is also good. 2.3 GHz with 15 watt. We'll keep it for a few minutes and then the fan sound becomes very obvious. Although the fan is loud, the GPU frequency is still super high. 
the CPU is now still 1.8 something gigahertz. The system temperature is now 70 something Celsius degree. We would like to say that Huawei refreshed its MateBook 14 with a new touch screen design. It inherited all successful features from 2019 version. And then, in 2020, it is more mature with more characteristics such as the touch screen, and now the performance is better than ever.